to all our teachers pets i just wanted to make a little video here talking about the idea of ditch the bowl so ditch the bowl is the idea that instead of feeding our dogs out of their regular food bowls which isn't that mentally stimulating we feed them out of puzzle toys which uses their mind while they eat so here are just a few of the ones that I have purchased. So this is my snuffle mat back there, my Kongs. This is my magic mushroom. They have to knock this around in order to get kibble out. This is my buster cube. It works the same way. This is my tug-a-jug or busy buddy. And then this is actually a, still a bowl. It's my slow feeder bowl. I use this when I actually have to quick feed my dogs. But I know that sometimes we don't have these available to us or especially when our stores might be closing or you don't want to go out there too much right now during these quarantine times or you don't want to wait for that shipping for buying them online. So I have a few examples here of just some things that you can do it yourself and make at home. So the first one is I just took a little box here. I filled it with, I have some packing paper in here, but you can use newspaper, paper towels, things like that. Just make sure your dogs don't eat those. And in here, it's interspersed. I have kibbles, so my dogs have to take all this stuff out to keep finding those kibbles. Then next, I have my empty granola box that I finished. And in here, same idea applies. I have some of those papers. There's some kibbles dispersed in here. And at the very bottom, there's a little special treat. So it kind of keeps egging them on to keep going. And then here, I just took a cupcake tin. So in my cupcake tin, I put some of my dog's toys, I have some of their balls, some of their regular toys, and then underneath here are those kibbles. So I have to move these over in order to take those kibbles out. So I do have a couple freebies for them because why not? And then next up I have the egg carton. So I actually still had eggs in my egg carton so I just put those in a Tupperware in the fridge instead. But when you open it up, I have some kibbles right where the eggs would go. Right? So you can either keep this open for your dogs, or you can close it and have your dogs open it themselves. And then last but not least, a little kind of make your own tug-a-jug, or those buster cubes. I have some water bottles. So this is actually my hamster's old water bottle from his cage. So there's a little ducky in there. That ducky does not come off, so there's no harm in them knocking around to get it. But in case you do not happen to have some spare rodent materials, I have a 7-Up bottle. You can, most people would just use a water bottle, but I don't have any plastic water bottles, but I still have a little 7-Up bottle. Or you guys can use some of your more metal water bottles. Just keep in mind that when you do play with them, they are going to be loud on the ground. So maybe play with them on a carpeted area. All right. So these are just a few ideas of kind of some quick do-it-yourself um, ditch the bowl exercises that you guys can do at home and I encourage you guys to do this at all times but especially during these quarantine times when it just may not be that stimulating for your dog to just sit at home or go on walks where they can't really interact with many other people or dogs at this time hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy out there enjoy